There's not a lot of things that I have bought during this year, but uh, a few things have come into my collection of gear that I carry with me. And one thing that I really wanted to add for a while is an ebook reader. I wanted to switch from playing games on the go to reading more books on the go. But I figured the tablet that I was using always ran out of battery. So I want something that can hold uh, while reading for a little bit longer time. This is the Kobo Aura one. And this is a pretty, pretty good and big waterproof ebook reader. So we're going to take a look at what's in the package and how to do the setup process. Comes out with this little bit more colorful package. And in there we come straight into ebook reader there it is covered up with a little piece of plastic that sits really neatly on there uh, below we got uh, another cover that comes off to give us some info about Kobo and then I think a quick start guide and some uh, warranty and specification stuff and a micro USB cable to add to the ever-growing collection or just throw away to keep the ever so growing collection a little bit more minimal. I have been throwing away a ton of micro USB cables this year. So I'm trying to not get too many of them. The plastic cover was really nice on there, but then there is a... Oh, it says we're gonna plug it into power and then turn it on. Okay, I'm just gonna try and turn it on and see what happens. Lights up a little bit on the top. Alright, then I get to choose what language I want to use it in. And then set up over Wi-Fi. Or don't have a Wi-Fi network. I'm okay to set up over Wi-Fi. So it's scanning for networks. And then we're gonna sign into our guest network here somewhere. After entering the password it says checking for updates. And then it's loading right then we get to select if we want to set up a new Kobo account or log into an existing account so I'm just gonna log into an existing because I'm pretty sure I have one and I'm gonna enter the login info Right after you set uh, up the device and enter your login information, you come to this startup screen. And there's not much to look at here. There's no books on here yet. So we're just going to move in. I'm going to plug this one into my computer. And we're going to move into uh, the computer and have a look at how to set this up with Adobe Digital Editions. And move your EPUB books into the ebook reader in the simplest way possible. So when entering the USB cable, you will get the following on the ebook reader. And when you press connect, the ebook reader comes up down here. You can select there what will happen. If you want to open folder to view files when you plug it in, that's usually what I want to do because sometimes I just drag files straight over to the ebook reader and sometimes use Adobe Digital Editions. So this is what you come into. Uh, and here you can you can put your, uh, your files straight into uh, the ebook reader. Like if you have PDF files, you can put them here. Or if you have unprotected 
uh, EPUB files, you can put them there. Uh, but if you have protected uh, EPUB files, uh, you need to use Adobe Digital Editions. Otherwise, the ebook reader won't be able to open the book. And here I already have a few books added. And some of these books are uh, EPUB files. Uh, and I've just, just bought them online and added them into Adobe Digital Editions. Uh, what you want to do here is you have the Kobo e-reader there uh, and as you can see nothing is on it right now. So you just want to right click on this one and choose copy to computer device and then you copy it to Kobo e-reader. And now the protected ebook is transferred over to the ebook reader and you can read it on this one. Uh, so I'm going to do the same with the other few books that I have in here. I'm just going to use control to select all the ones that I want to transfer and then copy to Kobo e-reader. All right, so we're back with the ebook reader and when you start it on the back side, you're going to come into the home screen like this get some focus uh, and you click up in the main menu and you go to my books and here you have all the books that we moved over so you can see up in the edge here uh, that this is an EPUB and the rest you can see here are PDFs if we scroll to the next uh, page we can see here uh, another PDF and then a Kobo EPUB so they include this book, The Idiot, by Fyodor Dostoevsky, uh, and the rest are the ones that I put on here. <clears throat> so we start one of the EPUB books, and then we realize, oh, this is not an authorized unit. So that's a pity. How do we authorize the unit? We have to move over and do this now. So what we need to do is we need to be logged in to our Adobe account that we use with uh, Digital Editions to buy and download EPUB files. Then we need to go to the devices here and click the settings and authorize the device. You just use your Adobe ID and you click authorize. Then your device is authorized and you can just click OK. And now you're going to be fine to open the EPUB files that you have bought or borrowed at the library. And we're at the home screen. We have the books showing up there. We move to my books. And again, we start the EPUB file right there. And now the authorized book is showing up. So that's all for this video and I will see you in the next one. Subscribe if you want more of this kind of content. Have a nice day.